I am continuing my video series on secret subterranean cities. This is part 2 of the series. If you feel like you've missed anything, check out the previous video, the link is in the description. I recommend watching it to get the full picture. Without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. What 99.99% don't know is. There's a vast network of inland submarine tunnels. When we say submarine, people think open ocean. They never consider submarines could be inland, because they were taught that inner earth is solid. In reality, it's made of hollow cavities, caverns, rivers and lakes. I have no direct evidence of submarine tunnels. But a little bit of digging, brings up facts that strongly point toward their existence. This article asks why is there a navy base in Idaho? People are confused, because the Navy's work is all about water. The US Navy submarine bases are some of the most high security installations in the world, but one of their most important and shadowy submarine outposts, is not located along the ocean, but rather in a lake in landlocked Idaho. The truth of the matter is, that this small base, has supported every major submarine design development of the last 65 years. Even though the article doesn't admit it, it's reasonable to assume tunnels stretching for hundreds of miles from Bayview, Idaho to the Pacific Ocean. Otherwise, it would make little sense for Idaho to be the main hub of submarine production. The base is only landlocked to people unaware of subterranean tunnels. The other major Navy base is also inland, at China Lake, California. Even though it's kept under wraps, eyewitnesses have seen submarines emerge there. Officials deny that there are waterways for submarines, speaking instead of submarine testing facilities. What merit is there to test water vehicles in the desert? None, unless there is plenty of water underground. There is another inland submarine base below Hawthorne, Nevada. Another remote desert town that is home to a naval base. According to John Lear, son of the inventor of the Learjet, there are submarine tunnels stretching for hundreds of miles below Hawthorne. Would these major Navy submarine bases be stationed inland if there were no waterway to them? I doubt it. These are the three major Navy bases on the map. John Lear has also been quoted as saying this on public radio. There are tunnels and base complexes that connect China Lake, California City, Norton AFB, Edwards AFB, Tanapa, Groom Lake Nevada Test Site, Los Alamos, Dulles, Norwood, Oklahoma, and to the east. In any case, ancient maps show that California was once an island, and the seashores were what we today know as Nevada and Idaho. A Forbes article titled, Chinese Navy Submarines Are Protected by Underground Tunnels, admits two inland submarines, but in China. The article lists six different known submarine tunnels. Some of the bases go further, offering underground tunnels to protect key warships and submarines. Here's another one, titled, Satellite Photos Appear to Show Chinese Submarine Using Underground Base. These photos show an old submarine tunnel in Montenegro. The defunct tunnels are today visited by tourists. Unfortunately it appears to have been walled off with concrete. Who knows how much further the tunnel went. This is a Swedish submarine tunnel. Moscow Naval Base Sweden. I found more than a dozen known submarine tunnels with a brief search, and can only imagine how many more secret ones there are. Alleged maps of the submarine tunnel system in North America have been circulating online. Is there any validity to this map? Who knows? This poster claims that ops and explosions were in progress in the Five Finger Lakes area. It's part of the idea that there is a secret war against a deep state cabal, who are said to use submarine tunnels for human is it true? I don't know. But if the military is waging war against the deep state inside tunnels, then the military is waging war against itself, because many of these tunnels are military-run. They can even keep above-ground city secret. One such example is Krasnoyarsk, which was featured on CBS 60 Minutes. I quote. Krasnoyarsk 26 is a secret city, with a secret population. It's not on any map, and the 100,000 people who live there, don't exist in any census, and don't have any contact with the outside world. Until the last few years, even the name of the city was a secret. And there you have it, all in the first paragraph. 100,000 people. The people are not on any census and have nothing to do with the outside world. 
until it was discovered, the very existence of it was denied. Incidentally, many of these secret city dwellers were working underground, inside a mountain. If they can keep a city that is primarily above ground a secret, they can certainly do it with cities below ground. If there are luxurious underground cities of the elite, connected by an advanced transit system, then there must be maps of that. And there are several, but they remain speculative. The various maps don't align with each other. What these maps prove is, that there is certainly a cultural belief about this worldwide transit network. Where did that belief come from? On this map, I noticed a station in Greenland. When looking at that exact spot on Google Maps, I found an anomaly. What's that black spot with straight lines? This is supposed to be a satellite image, but it looks artificial. Unfortunately, an online search did not reveal the origin of any of these maps. Conspiracists' websites are among the most unprofessional. Would it be too much asked to upload a high-definition map of such a vital topic, so that we can find out where the train stations to inner Earth are? I believe this map is made up. Its author simply connected the dots of every internet rumor he's ever heard, Los Alamos, Dulce, Carlsbad, Mount Shasta, and then connected the dots. My hunch is that, people intuitively understand that there is a worldwide tunnel system that the elites travel on, but they don't know any more than that, so they make stuff up. Imagination readily fills any gaps in knowledge. Here's a 1665 volcanic and tunnel map by Anastasius Kircher, that implies a worldwide tunnel system inside Earth. And this, another 1600s map of Inner Earth. If Inner Earth weren't a thing, would maps of it exist? And would we have had trade deals with subterranean people in the Middle Ages? And then, there are the vast tunnel systems that are confirmed, such as those in Vietnam, used by Vietnamese military. The Vietnamese say that the tunnels were created by an ancient civilization before them, and that the military makes generous use of the work of the ancients. Or, those built by the Nazis all over Germany, and possibly making use of already known ancient tunnels. And how mind-blowing is this? We used to have a network of underground railroads in the US. 1830 to 1865. If we had subterranean transit back then, what do we have today? I have a hunch that the subterranean world is often disguised as mines. If you say, this is the entrance to a mine, the public won't bother inspecting. That's how easy it is to keep things hidden in plain sight. One perception filtering word is enough. The following is a map of supposed mines in the US. We see just how common subterranean activity is. Napoleon planned his invasion of England by air, sea, and by subterranean tunnel. That could mean, when the Euro Tunnel was built between France and England in the 1990s, they were using an already existing system. If you guys find this video interesting, I'll make a part 3.